Tony Walker here, here with Doug Munn, and uh, he brought home some beautiful uh, yew wood. His son gave him. This thing's probably a thousand years old or more. Just cut a three quarter, three quarter inch off it. Look at this, just beautiful. What did you say that? Twenty-four inch wide. This. Yeah. Yeah. Sixteen. 16? Sixteen inch wide. He's gonna make a mantle at home with it. Show him the other piece. Check out this piece in here. Very hard to get this stuff now. It grows quite high up and then it's really hard to get. Look at this piece here. Just beautiful. Just now I can see the size of it. Yeah, it's, look at that. Look at the colors in this. It's like a purple and, and really cool looking colors to it. I've had Arbutus that looks similar to this, but though no, this is way cooler and way older. Arbutus would only be probably about 60, 80 years old that size, eh? Yeah. But yeah, and this piece of fur, Dougie actually planted this fir tree out front of his mom's house right here when he was a kid. And he just chopped it down. He's gonna mill it up and make a cool little table at home. Yeah. How old are you when you planted that? 18. 18. Cool. I think you guys have seen Dougie before. He's my follower buddy we went fishing with this summer. How long have you been following now, Dougie? Oh, 30 something years. 30 something years? years. Yeah, this is gorgeous wood, eh? Wow. It's a shame that you have to make some little things out of the slabs, eh? Absolutely. Okay. Even if you cut them in half and put them on the side of those like those planter boxes Trevor yeah. did, that'd be cool, eh? Yeah. Just face it with something. Right? Yeah, we're pretty lucky to have this kind of wood around. It's very hard hard to find this. I've seen some up in the Sabalas area and other areas on the island, of course, but uh yeah, I remember uh, when I was working at Sabalas, the university was doing studies on this. There was actually stuff in the bark they use for cancer. It's uh, quite unique. And they're actually they male and female trees. I've seen them with berries on them before. And uh, the one cabin that we have up by Sabalas had this big U wood out in front. It had berries on it, red berries. They grow on them. Kind of neat. I don't know wherever they came from. Are they unique? To, are they from BC here or did someone plant them years ago? Native to here, eh? Yeah, they're native. Hey, Donnie Walker out. Just thought I'd show you that. Check out the walkersawshop.com uh, online store now and get that new uh, side cover for those 500s and 462 that I showed you yesterday on that video from the Bark Box guy, Gordy, there. He's doing a great job of it. Okay, have a good weekend. Bye. <laughs>